Good morning from Comrade in Gagusia. And uh, yes, my lovely little hotel room last night. Very small, but you know, it did the job. Let's go and try and find a bus. I'm going to go to a, a museum of Gagu's culture. Let's go. <laughs> What have I got here? I've got something that looks like a uh, borek. Okay, so I think this is a goslim, goslimi. Uh, don't you get these in Turkish places in North London? Right? Please, let me know if I'm onto something here, if I'm wrong. Please tell me. Let's try this with cottage cheese. Should, should make an okay breakfast, right? Oh! Oh! Mmm! A bit salty. Deep fried. Ooh! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get on with that. Lovely job. Alright, I'm going to scram this and uh, find the bus. Yeah, it's angry. Да, да, да. Да, да. Ну хорошо, я тебя понимаю, хорошо. Okay, спасибо. А вы какой люди? Я молдаванин. Молдаванин, да, да. Окей, хорошо. Ну, люди здесь говорят молдови, румынский язык тоже или нет? В основном русский. Да. А знаешь, почему русский? Потому что мы в школе учились на русском языке. Да, да. Советский Союз, да? Да. Советский Союз был, да. Да, да. Но сейчас здесь русский язык и какой язык и молдо... молдовский язык тоже? Три да. языки тоже в школе? Да. Три языка. Да. Но в основном все разговаривают по-русски. Да, да. Тогда был Советский Союз. Я не знал русский язык, я знал только молдовский. Когда пошел в школу, был маленький. А, да. Когда пошел в первый класс. И в школе, в школе учился русский язык. Хотя здесь, в Гагаузии, редко молдавы. Мало. Спасибо. Да, да. да, да, да. Это хорошо. Клад пиши. Давайте. Спасибо. Желаю удачи, здоровья. Спасибо, спасибо. До свидания. Мы здесь. Site of the ethnographic uh, museum for Gogol's culture. But look what's outside. Yet another monument to Afghanistan. But what an incredible etching. Such stylish uh, design. Really, really striking stuff, eh? With that helicopter coming down and the mother grieving. Can't quite make out what it says. It's like no to war, the path to uh, war will never uh, something, the hearts of mothers and their grief for their sons on the road to war and their lives will eternally be the main uh, glory for the land. Eh, sorry, translation skills are poor today, but you know, you get the gist, eh? It's about grieving mothers, you get the gist. <laughs> Uh, video? Просто да. дорого немножко. Uh, сколько стоит? Uh, видео 50 лей, это если, не, если для себя. Если для рекламных целей, то 300 лей. Окей, okay, хорошо. Just been inside the ethnographic museum of Gargosia, which you didn't see, because any filming in there requires a hefty amount of paperwork and a small sum to be paid. I, it's not the money, I just... Uh, uh, the paperwork <laughs> put me off. So, um, look, you didn't miss a lot. But look, hey, I've got this uh, 
nifty little book, an English Gagos conversation guide. Would you like to learn to speak Gagos? This little book can help. So this is going to be uh, absolutely useless to me as soon as I leave here. And um, finally procured uh, a very old but very welcome nonetheless flag of the Gagals Republic. It's amazing to me that no small town in the Soviet Union seemed to be spared from great works of, of sculpture. It's just like the smallest of towns in, you know, pretty distant republics often have something pretty incredible like this. I love that in the middle of all these towns where there's a big square, there's just tons and tons of tyre marks of people doing burnouts. <laughs> broke my selfie stick. A sentence I never thought I'd say with such seriousness. So anyway, I saw a, uh, what's it called? Windmill in the distance that I thought we'd go and have a look at just before breaking my selfie stick. And uh, oy, 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 what a palaver. Right, so I want this wild goose chase. Right, there it is. Let's go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oi, check it out. Christ, a bit wobbly, I tell you. Doesn't take much to impress me. I get excited by old wooden windmills. Time to get out of here. Let's walk back to the main road and get to combat. That's going to be a mission in, in and of itself, but uh, hey ho. Uh, downwards and Onwards and downwards. Well, this is it. The Gagol step. Time to head across. So, I'm going to walk out along this bit of step, I guess. Uh, maybe we'll get to the cemetery and then the main road and then we'll hitch a lift back to Comrade. When you look out over this flat land going into the uh, little hill that Beshalma is on. I mean, often villages would be built on the flat bit, right? And not on the hills. But they told me, and I don't know, I don't know about this flat bit. I know some of the area in, uh, some of the land in this area is the beginning of step, the kind of step land that will uh, eventually sort of in parts of Ukraine start again. And then obviously going into Kazakhstan into the kind of the great Central Asian step but in the museum, they did tell me that during the Soviet period, one of the things that happened was when the Kolkhoz, the, uh, the, the state farms started, they flattened. And she showed me a picture of a guy riding a bulldozer. They flattened lots of the uh, traditional grape wine growing land that had existed. So who knows? I mean, this could be flat because it's the beginning of the steppe or uh, it could be flat because it was flattened in order to make uh, land that was more productive and not for growing grapes, for growing things like corn, right? 